<laughs> hello, hello, how are you? I am back again and today I thought I would do a quick like review of Chanel shoes and also show you around my Chanel shoe collection. I have four pairs, I'm gonna show you them all. I've got shoes and boots, summer and winter. And um, yeah, some of them are really old. I think one pair is like 90s. One of them I got about five years ago and um, everything's kind of like in between. But yeah, I thought I would talk about the sizing, pricing, general advice, all that kind of thing. So hopefully you'll enjoy seeing my shoes and hopefully if you are thinking about buying some Chanel shoes, you will know a little bit more ahead of your purchase. Yeah, where should we start? Should we start with espadrilles? I think they're a good place to start. So here are my Chanel espadrilles. Here they are, they are very old now. They are quite a few seasons old. They are made of leather and they've got these kind of gunmetal press studs with the kind of the flower on. They say Chanel in here. Um, they've obviously got the, what are these called? The es espadrille wickeriness here. They've got the blanket stitch. And then on the base they say Chanel. Um, they're actually so used that one of them has started to split but they are absolutely fine to wear. You know, as long as it's not raining. But to be honest, who wears espadrilles in the rain anyway? Um, but yeah, I absolutely love them. They're super comfortable. <clears throat> and this is probably a really good place to talk about the sizing. So if I show you another pair of my Chanel shoes, uh, like this pair, this pair is a 39 and a half. And I would say they're pretty true to size. However, these ones are a 42. Let me just get that up so that I can like prove to you. Yeah, see, they are a 42. A 42, that's like, if like a 40 is a seven, is that a nine? Is that like a size eight or a nine? They're a size eight or nine, my espadrilles, and they're not big on me. Like literally the espadrilles come up so small that I would recommend buying them like two sizes bigger than you think you need because they are wildly small. If anything, I could probably do with a size bigger. That's a 43, that's insane, that's crazy. But I would say the rest of my Chanel shoes, they come up pretty true to size, maybe a half size smaller than regular. But yeah, the espadrilles are a complete anomaly. I don't know why. They are just wildly small. I would say like literally a size and a half, if not two sizes smaller than they say, which is crazy. So um, yeah, I don't know why, no idea why. Even the trainers, they come up like the size that they should be, all the shoes, heels, boots, everything. But the espadrilles, way too small, just saying. Okay, as for the um, the width fit, um, I have quite high instep and I don't have slim feet, I have fairly wide feet. I think they're pretty standard widths, which I really like because they're wide enough for my feet. I do find some, some designer shoes, if they're very like European, they can be very narrow in the width. I cannot wear them. Also, if there's an instep which is quite restrictive, I can't wear them because they are just too narrow for my big old clown feet and my instep. So I would say in terms of width fitting, they're pretty standard. And I would say in terms of length, they're standard to half a size small. But I think that's fine, um, apart from the espadrilles, which are just stupid, quite frankly. Anyway, let me show you another pair. So this pair is so cute. These are patent leather. Um, they are a little old now. They're a little bit worse for wear, um, but they have the little flower buckles, patent leather, the iconic little like ridge here, Chanel on the inside, made in Italy, Chanel on the base. And these are a size 40, so that's a seven. And I would say, again, pretty true to size. Um, I think they're so cute. I love them. I've clearly worn them a lot. They are just really comfortable, really cute. Just adorable with a little dress. I love them. Um, I've thought sometimes maybe I don't need them anymore. Maybe they're a bit youthful for me. Maybe I should sell them on. And then every time I'm like, no, I need them. I love them. They're too cute. I love them. So that is the next pair. And I would say this is probably a good time to talk about the comfort of Chanel shoes. I have to be honest, Chanel shoes are really comfortable. I'm not the kind of girl who can be bothered with uncomfortable shoes. I've don't, I don't have time for it. You know, when you're like, I used to live in London, I'm a big walker. I just am like, I don't have time. I can't, I can't function with uncomfortable shoes. I just can't. As much as I love beautiful shoes with high heels and, and just like fabulousness, like it just doesn't make me feel good. It makes my soul 
so unhappy, you know what I mean? And I just can't do it. And I have to say, Chanel shoes are actually really comfortable, really comfortable. Of course, if you're gonna get like sky high stilettos, they're not gonna be comfortable because no stiletto is comfortable. But in general, their shoes, their flats, their boots, their low heels, they are made to be worn and they are made to be worn every day and they are genuinely, I would say, really comfortable. They're not sketches, they're not fit flops, do you know what I mean? They're not that orthopedic level, level of comfort, but they're pretty goddamn comfortable. They are really, really, really comfortable. Whew, which brings me on to my next pair of shoes. Where should we go next? I'm gonna go for these ones. These are really special. I got these when I was pretty young, actually. Um, I was probably about 25. I bought them pre-loved and they weren't actually even that much because it was kind of before, people were like desperate for shoes like this. Do you know what I mean? Like people weren't so desperate for Chanel shoes. People weren't so desperate for like 90s Chanel pre-loved. I don't know, they weren't that much. Um, and I just absolutely was like, they're the coolest shoes. And I love them. They've got um, they've got like a foamy sole. They are made in Italy. They've got the Chanel on the base. They are like the iconic um, two tone. They kind of gave me jazz shoe vibes. Um, there we go, Chanel made in Italy. And they are just gorgeous. They are leather lined. They are so comfortable. They're leather all on the inside. And I just love them. I wore them all the time when I lived in London. I wore them with vintage dresses and black opaque tights and I just was like, yeah, these are my my shoes. I love them. I wore them to like London Fashion Week a lot. I just wore them day in, day out and they were just so incredibly comfortable. Then I'm like, look at those cute little Chanel buttons. They're adorable. And actually my, <laughs> my big old feet did kind of break one of the straps and I sewed it back on, but I didn't have black thread. I only had, had green thread. So um, yeah. That's quite funny, but yeah, anyway, I haven't worn these shoes for a long old time, but I love them. I don't think I will ever get rid of them because they just have such happy memories and I think they're such cool shoes. One day I might get them properly repaired so that the button is on properly, but they're just so cool. I love them. Um, but yeah, that is a true test to how well made they are. These are 90s Chanel and it is now 2023. And if I wanted, I could get that buckle sewn back on. They would still be wearable and they are just so comfortable, so well made. Love them, they really do last well. So I think that's amazing. It's really cool to be able to say Chanel shoes are comfortable and well made. So um, yeah, even after like 30, 40 years, that is bonkers, isn't it? 30 years, yeah, 30. What should we talk about next? We've talked about sizing, we've talked about comfort. We have talked about the width fitting. Now we need to talk about, yes. Oh my God. So <laughs> if you are planning on buying yourself a pair of Chanel shoes and you're thinking about getting pregnant, please, please, please consider it because I have this pair of boots. They are so cool. They are from the Paris Edinburgh collection. They lace all the way up. They're bloody cool. They're like kind of combat-y but tweedy. They've got the Chanel logo here. I love, love, love them. But I need to be honest, I have not worn them that much. And then I got pregnant and now they are kind of too small for me. So I'm just putting it out there. If you're thinking about buying yourself a pair of Chanel shoes and also thinking about getting pregnant, please think about this. Either <laughs> buy these shoes so that they're roomy, you know, so that they fit but they're roomy or just wait until after you're done being pregnant because your feet will probably grow and you don't want to be stuck like me with like an amazing pair of Chanel boots that you can't really wear because your feet bloody grew. Just putting it out there, just saying. Um, okay, next, let's talk about price. Whew, they're not cheap. The Chanel Espadrilles are a crazy price these days. When I first started looking at the Chanel Espadrilles, I think they were like two to 300 pounds which was a lot for a pair of espadrilles, but like not too bad for Chanel. Now I think the espadrilles retail for about five to six, I think nearer to 600 pounds. That is a lot of money for a pair of espadrilles. You can get them much, much cheaper on the preset pre-loved market. So I will drop some links below. You can probably get them for about 200 on pre-loved market, but that is a lot of money, just putting it out there. 
Would I recommend the espadrilles? Yes, if you're buying them secondhand. No, if you're buying them full price, just saying. As for something like the Mary Janes or the classic pumps, I would say buy them and buy them in a low or, or flat heel because they are the kind of shoes that you will and can wear every single day and then I think they are worth it. If you're going to go for something like these boots, um, these are more a seasonal shoe, make sure that they're gonna go with plenty of, it, of your outfits and make sure that you're actually genuinely going to wear them. Because I wore them a bit, I didn't wear them loads because they were quite warm and they were very much like a winter, winter, winter boot. However, because I didn't get the chance to wear them that much and then I got pregnant, like now I can't really wear them. So it's a bit disappointing, um, but I would say, yeah, get a pair of shoes that you're genuinely going to wear a lot. For instance, the espadrilles, you will wear them all summer long. The flats, the pumps, the Mary Janes, the trainers, shoes like that, you can literally wear day in, day out. If you're going to do that, 100% worth the money. I wouldn't say high heels are worth money unless you're going to wear them a lot, but genuinely, who wears high heels that much? I would say don't. I would say if you're buying a pair of Chanel shoes, buy a very everyday style that you're going to wear every day. Like, if you are a trainer girl, buy a pair of Chanel trainers. If you are a ballet pump girl, buy the ballet pumps and just wear them every day. Wear them every day, get your money's worth. And if you wear them every day and get your money's worth, they're totally worth the money because they are comfortable, they are beautiful, they are so soft, they're so well made. They're like leather lined and so beautiful. But yeah, you have to wear them a lot to make it worthwhile. Um, I would also say, actually, this is a really good point. If you are wanting to shop pre-loved Chanel shoes, that's actually a pretty good thing to buy pre-loved because they don't sell for as much as say a pre-loved handbag or a pre-loved Chanel jacket because I think a lot of people want brand new shoes. But actually, if you can buy a pair of like pre-loved shoes that are worn maybe like five times, you'll save a big old chunk of change, but you'll get so many years of wear out of them. You know, you can always spray them and like disinfect them, you can always clean them. But to be honest, once they touch those London pavements, they're gonna be filthy anyway. So I would say shoes are a great thing to buy pre-loved. And um, I think that's kind of it. I think that's my video. I think that is my shoes and my thoughts on Chanel shoes. Um, but yeah, the Mary Janes, absolutely love them, so joyful i will probably wear them again this summer the boots i'm hoping <laughs> that my feet will shrink and i can wear them again i can just about get into them if it's very cold and my feet are cold and um, i wear just tights but it's a bit of a struggle because they are actually too small the espadrilles i love i will be wearing them again this summer they are so comfortable the only thing is, is if it's a really hot day my feet are bigger and they are quite sweaty and then i find that the espadrilles can be a little bit too small if it's a really hot day my feet are a bit swollen sorry for the tmi and then these ones i probably won't ever wear again because i really do need to get this buckle properly fixed but god i love these I really love these shoes. They just, they make me so happy. And I was so proud of myself for buying them. And um, yeah, they were pre-loved, so they were a mega bargain. And they're just so absolutely cool. But yeah, buy them, buy the flats, love them, enjoy them, wear them all the time. And they are totally worth the money. Ta-da, that's my video. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you again soon. Goodbye.